So now let us work with text animation to create interesting outlook inside of Element 3D. So I'm going to go into my scene setup right here. Uh, but before I do that, I need to actually type in the text that I want to animate. So I'm going to type in a text called Tutor Tube, just like this. So this is my text. And what I'm going to do is on my orange solid, I'm going to add in the custom layer for this. So I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to select Tutor Tube. All right, there you go. So I'm going to go into scene setup now and expand this out. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to extrude this and apply a preset for uh, an interesting outlook. All right, so just click and drag this. There you go. Uh, but I want to add in something thick like this. All right, there you go. Maybe this one. All right, there you go. So now once I do that, I'm going to press OK. So that's my 3D version of the text. And let me disable this uh, layer right here. So this is Tutor Tube. -tut. So I'm going to go into my scene setup again. And what I want to do is create a duplicate of this. So this is the extruded model. Uh, I want to duplicate the model right here. Keep it in group two, just like that. And I'm going to press OK. So on the group two, uh, I'm going to go into my particle look and maybe I want to animate the size a bit just like this and maybe I would like to uh, animate the rotation as well so particle rotation let me just go over here uh, maybe I want it to tilt it upwards right here maybe I want group 2 to be the starting animation point right here so now what I'm going to do is into my animation engine I'm going to select start group as group 2 and in group as group one and enable the animation engine and once you do that uh, once you change the animation you can see that this happens so it actually animates the individual object right here but the interesting thing is you can actually go into these groups and enable the multi objects so i'm going to go over here enable the multi object for group two and i have to do the same for group one as well so i'm going to go over here into a uh, particle look multi object enable multi object for both just like this so once you do that if i were to change the animation now you can see that all the object animate just like that so multi object animation actually helps in animating the individual letters so all of them behave as an individual particle so you can also actually use this as a modeling tool as you can see so this is directional. You can also have uniform, which does not actually have much effect. You have radial type of an animation, just like this. You can see that now you have this type of an animation. There's random animation. All the letters actually change uh, according to how they are. There's shape order as well uh, for shape ordered animation. All right. So you can do this and you can even uh, blend in two animations right here. So you can go for dual animation mode and end it in maybe uh, radial mode so start with directional and in radial so this is stuck and it'll end in radial all right there you go so these type of animation can be played around with uh, by using the animation engine so that is how you can animate text using multi object animation inside of element 3d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe